Welcome back to the Intel Extreme Masters LA Global Challenge. I'm James Dugood Harding, joined here by Joe Miller, and uh, we're going to be going straight into the next game. Sorry for a bit of the delay there as well. We're waiting for the teams to set up, but it's MIBR versus Mob, and uh, I do believe that the knife round was almost uh, alive as uh, we were almost going in, but I'm pretty sure it's, it looks like it's been delayed now. Is that the case? No, uh, the, the knife round actually has already gone ahead, and the pistol round's already gone ahead. And well, you've missed won. nothing important. That was won by MIBR. We are playing just two, of course, here. So, uh, Mob lost uh, in the last game, as we saw, to MYM. MIBR beat MYM in the first game. So, uh, I mean, if Mob can beat MIBR now, then things could get a little interesting. We could end up with, like, a three-way tie for first place, um, which would mean, obviously, we do the round difference for uh, for where people finish. So MIBR at the moment ripping through Mob as they uh, try to attack on the B side. And they are uh, going to take the 2-0 to zero lead. Yep, and uh, making a quick work of that B kind of rush there through the tunnels. I mean, only losing one man, so pretty successful. And so MIB are obviously starting off strong, and uh, Mob coming off a horrible second half, as you saw earlier, uh, versus Mim. So they've got to be feeling probably not as good as they maybe thought they were uh, coming up against what seems to be the strongest team of the group then. So uh, a short... Uh, sh push, short A, sorry. Oh, lovely grenade there from BTT, just dropping it down as Mob rushed around the corner. And actually, uh, we've got a couple of substitutions in here for uh, Mob Striker and Perez, uh, both coming in. And of course, Noit, which, uh, by the way, is evolution spelled backwards. <laughs> but you know, we knew we that. Like we like Noit. We, we like yeah. Noit. Change your name, Noit. It's kind of, kind of a joke, you know? Yeah, we were just playing joke with you. Between me and Noit, but, you know. Yeah, Noit and Joe go we'll way call, back. We'll call him Evolution if it makes you guys feel happier. So uh, for Mob, it's Striker, uh, Evolution, Paladin, Perez, and uh, Lim. And for uh, nope. MIBR, it's BTT, FNX, uh, Bit, Nat, Kogu. So we are already well away in this game here. As, uh, here comes Paladin rushing around the corner, manages to take down BTT, but Bit's there to give him a little bit of backup. And already the Brazilians charging away in the lead. Four to zero, obviously on the CT side. And at the moment, Mob just can't seem to get anything right. Yeah, I mean, but it's what you expect of uh, MIBR. I mean, uh, Mob obviously came out good first half versus uh, Mim. But as you say, kind of been showing a little bit like, you know, what top Counter-Strike really is all about. And so they don't seem to be able to match up. And they go Kogu then opening up on uh, Evolution. And actually, uh, Paladin uh, replies on Takoga then. So this could be uh, interesting to see where Mob decide that they want to go. And actually, they've done a bit of a split. One's going short A, three of them rotating round to B. So we'll see uh, if they can get a bomb down and uh, help the money situation. Yeah, BTT going to shut down Lim. It was the uh, the only push there onto uh, onto Catwalk. Beat one actually coming up huge here onto uh, onto Paladin and Perez. Nat uh, is there to back him up as well with the AWP, and he shuts down Striker. So very quickly, MIBR building this momentum up, getting into the flow of the game, and a five to zero up. Yeah, five to zero. And actually, I hope we uh, also showed you a little of uh, a run around. Actually, Uli, our uh, resident LA -er at the moment, and I hope you enjoyed that. I actually personally didn't listen to any of it, but the only thing I noticed is there's a really hot female um, admin at the tournament. Did you see her? No. You have. I was, I was surprised actually. You didn't. Are you ready? You're outside. I was oh. outside. So mop Rubbish. here are uh, going to be hot. making the push in uh, in the B corridors at the moment. And it's going to boost up. Towards the top, trying to look over into uh, that bomb site. Paladin watching the back from uh, the A double doors. BTT is going to be sat a long bit down the middle. Evolution, the opera at the moment, has just seen someone hop over. Didn't fire the shot though. And he's just going to wait. Flashes. Oh, it was a smoke that dropped in there. Let's see Evolution. See if this push is going to be made by Mob. They do have four guys over in those B tunnels. At the moment, MIBR's defense is Kogu inside the bomb site. Let's switch over to Kogu. He's the all player. He's fantastic to watch, so let's watch him. Yeah, well, he's going to have to uh, put up with a four man rush as they uh, edge ever closer. Oh. And actually, as we say, it's fantastic to watch as uh, the commentator curse gets completely shut down. And actually, Evolution now uh, kind of playing uh, very well for Mob. BTT going to shut down Paladin there. Still Mob are actually in on this B bomb site. Flash is going to go over the top. Flash coming in there as well. Perez, the bomb carrier, is going to go get the plant down. The bomb is planted. It's a three-on-three three three. here at the moment. 
As uh, the flashes come over the top once again, Mob frantically trying to get down in the corners. FNX coming, BTT with one as well. Perez going to be uh, taken down by Bit. Diffuse going to come in from BTT, and that is going to put the Brazilians up six to zero. Uh, early on in this game and um, of course we will be playing uh, all 30 rounds which actually in this group could could be um, important um, not so much as far as we can tell from MIB are dominating at the moment and uh, Mob you know they got into that B bomb site free man defense evolution helped them get in there so much uh, so that they look like they could have picked up their first round but just terrible defense and uh, MIB are just completely just a touch of uh, class better than the mob team at the moment yeah, Bit just hanging around by those middle double doors. Actually, Lim is just around the corner and Bit is going to go rushing through there, spraying as uh, Perez does catch him from down low. Nat grabs one of his own and a second there onto Paladin. Finally, Noit is able to... Uh, I keep calling him Noit just for the fun, you know? It's all good. <laughs> it's all good fun. It's all good. Me and my old buddy Noit. In the hood. Evolution. <laughs> He's going to be the last one left here for Mob. As he Come on, Noit. Way into the B bomb Come on, side. Noit. Oh, he spots one down in CT spawn. There were no, two Noit, there, I think. You. One coming through into oh, the uh, Noit. B tunnels. Actually, Kogu it was from the window. Just oh, uh, hopped no. over the top, shot Evolution in the back, and makes it 7-0 to the Brazilians. Now, Jake, what do Mob have to do to get something from this game? Because at uh, the moment, They've got to look the right yeah. direction, and, and they've all got to rename to Noit. So Mob now rushing down towards the A double doors. Grenades going to be going through as they uh, are stopped in their tracks. Exactly what those grenades are intended to do is stop grenades, intended to make you stop. They don't want you to push too fast. So those HE is going to be put down. Striker is pushed up really quickly and heavily up this onto, uh, onto Cat off. Flash coming over here as well. There is Striker. Doesn't manage to connect, I don't think, onto the CT there. That is FNX. Here comes Paladin as well. More flashes going over. FNX, he drops Paladin. Bit goes down to Lim. Lim with two lovely shots there, both onto uh, Bit and FNX. And that opens his bombsite up now. And it's a two on three. MIB are still with the uh, man advantage. But this A Kogu's bomb site that. is Nat available for the plant. Up. Let's take a look. Nat coming through yeah, uh, with Kogo. Uh, Kogo onto short. Nat going to uh, take down Lim there. Flash going over the top. And it's all up to the one. BTT shuts down Perez. And that is going to be a round which kind of looked like it was winnable for... Uh, uh, for mob. It could have been their round, seriously. I mean, they were in a really good position pushing up that short A, but I mean, the MIBR team just made them look like a bunch of lemmings walking off a cliff as uh, they took them as they uh, came in one by one. But I mean, still, you know, they did a decent you know, job and Lim kind of came out for them that round, but still, despite all their efforts, Joe, it's just not enough for the mob team here. So eight to zero then in favor of MIBR. Yeah, Flash is going up to uh, cover catwalk there. You think that's exactly where they've gone. Bit going to take down Whoa. Lim. Oh, <laughs> brilliant stuff there. Nat coming round as well. As I switch over to Bit, it's Nat that starts doing the fragging. But well, Mob had no chance in that round. They are now 9-0. to zero. No reply from Mob whatsoever here. Let's uh, stay with Evolution. He's got an AWP this round. Let's see if he can pick anything at the start. Bit slow to uh, to respond there. Three of them go flying across, and he doesn't even fire a shot. So uh, he's now going to go maybe try a little bit easier area like on long A. Again, so I mean, it looks like yeah, Mob are trying to well, they're, they're, they're kind of huddling up center again, and they actually have a good uh, chance to actually go a short at the moment as a smokes down in center, and actually Perez is going to open up on Kogu, and that kind of opens up B bomb site. So we're seeing they're going to rotate round. You can see uh, well, you probably can't see, but it's a uh, MIBR are kind of stacked up at A with only uh, Nak at B, but actually uh, the whole of the Mob team, apart from Perez who opened up on Kogu, is uh, huddling still center. Yeah, Perez coming through there. Let's try and get back around to that catwalk push. It's going to be limp. This is interesting because uh, MIBR. Yeah, MIBR still very split at the moment. Two on the uh, B side, two on the A side. The two A side defenders are actually huddled up together. Um, <laughs> Nat's to, actually uh, in spawn at the moment for uh, 
T spawn. Yeah, this is a, this is a good push actually. A mob should have gone a few seconds ago because Bit now is going to be underneath them. BTT drops striker that was down by a long A, and it looks like MIBR are going to try and rotate this time uh, up around catwalk. Obviously, that bomb can be put down now, but let's. Switch it back around. I'm pretty sure MIBR have MIBR. enough grenades as well to kind of push this successfully. Yeah, not going to go in there first. FNX drops Perez as uh, another couple around there. Paladin is one for Mom and he shuts down Nack. Let's uh, try and get back around to them. It's not going to be another push actually from Catwalk. It's going to be uh, from Long A this time. Bit takes down Evolution. Paladin is still alive or not as Bit drops him as well. Defuse going to come in. Doubled. And that's going to be another round for MIBR. Yeah, I mean, as you say, they should have pushed earlier. But I mean, it's easy to say when we're sat here with the kind of the overview and uh, all that immense knowledge that we have as yeah. ex professional Counter Strike players back in 2000. But um, I mean, it's just, you know, nothing's going right for them at the moment. And even if they do get in on the bomb sites, MIBR have been, you know, tactful with their grenades, not needed to use them, and actually can still push uh, relatively easy. So 10 to 0, and uh, MIBR making, well, easy work of the mob. Production team listening to the worst <laughs> music ever in the back. Seriously, I did It really puts me off. Bit going to take down Lim there. As uh, Evolution sets up around middle, grenades being thrown out, actually, by MIBR at the moment. Uh, smoke's going down to cover, cover from Mob as well. More flashes coming around the corner. FNX and BTT are both on catwalk at the moment. Knack and Bit down by those middle double doors, and they could make a push here any second. Get ready for the flashes. Here comes a push from catwalk as well. As we uh, see one down there, let's move down. It is going to be Bit. You can see the uh, the flashes and HE is coming straight towards him there. They're going to catch go. him a little bit as well. BTT on catwalk, shut down by Evolution. This is the push now. Oh, brilliant stuff from Evolution as he takes down FNX as well. This could be the first round of the game for Mob as they once again stall uh, by the boxes on catwalk. And that could be, uh, again, Ooh. proving oh. a little bit fatal to them as Bit and Nat go to work. Paladin Bomb grabs down. one frag before being shut down by Bit. And it's now all up to Striker. To be honest, he's going up against Bit and Kogu. And then yeah, yeah, well, Bit's actually damaged, but, and the bomb's like, down in a horrible position. You're going to see Kogu going to be able to cover this really easily here. So uh, Striker, it's going to be too much for him to do, especially at the timer. Counting down now, almost down to 20 seconds. He's, uh, even if he drops on this, he probably won't even get past Bit, actually. But uh, even if he drops on this, I'm sure Kogu won't miss that shot. So let's see. So Striker then, moving up. Let's watch Kogu, shall we, as uh, Striker starts to make his way around. Kogu's still watching <laughs> over the bomb. He saw him there as well, missed the shot, missed the second shot. The bomb is not <laughs> I didn't, off I didn't get that. drops down. I love the way he picked up the bomb with about five seconds left, like he was just going to like teleport back <laughs> and then plant it. Well, you yeah, okay. Unless you can, can you do the plan on this uh, situation like you can in CSS? No. Are you plan against the corner? I knew that, testing no. you. Good job. 11-0. Smoke's going to go to cover the uh, the uh, bottom there of middle. Flash is going to go over as well. Ooh. And hey, geez, good grenades there from Mob. Let's see if they can transfer that into something worth uh, while there. As Striker takes down BTT, Evolution going to push his way into the A site here as well. And uh, they seem to stall at boxes every time. A couple of nades and they'd all be in big, big trouble. Lim shuts down Kogu. Here comes Bit from underneath. Nak is going to grab a frag. Bit again. He's going to... Uh, Get the frags of his own. One person left for MIBR. Surely around for mob now. They have Striker and Lim remaining. As Perez is taken down at the back. Striker on catwalk. Lim is walking back. Bomb's still not down. Striker's actually down to 17 HP as well. So, I mean, we yeah. say uh, surely around. But uh, Striker actually picking this. up the bomb. Clever so play by FNX. He's moving all the way around as the, uh, the bomb finally does get planted. Striker could be in a... A spot of bother here is lovely place, hey, cheat. Dropping in onto FNX and just a bit of spray would actually take Striker down. Striker at the moment is underneath uh, the, uh, the catwalk in, in CT spawn. Here. Yeah, he's going to struggle. And finally, Striker appears out, takes down FNX. And I can move the Abacus over one point for Mob, 11 to 1. Uh, just three rounds remaining in this first half. But so far, it's all about MIBR. But let's see if Mob can put some rounds together um, while they still can. Nah, his mob has seemed to have lost their magic uh, as they uh, were showing us some uh, great uh, moves and also team play earlier. But I mean, this can only reinforce maybe the strength of uh, MIBR and what they can uh, do in this tournament.
Yeah, Bit's going to try and come up behind here. Evolution's actually inside uh -oh. the A double doors and he is going to be taking out Lim. The last one remaining for uh, Mob is going to shut down Nak, but he's got Kogu in behind him. USB to death. That's going to be 12 to 1 to the Brazilians. And as I said, so I mean, um, you know, uh, judging from their performance, MIBR, you know, kind of. You know, will they, you know, can they pro progress on tomorrow with this kind of, uh, you know, performance? A well, winning team, maybe? You know, obviously they're a winning contender, but I mean, do they seem on good form for you as you follow a CS a lot more of me? Yeah, if they do seem on good form. And like Especially said, taking uh, him. Having, having the guys back, having, uh, you know, FNX and Knack back in the team, that's going to maybe inspire them a little. They've beat MYN today, so there's no reason why they can't beat everyone else in the tournament tomorrow. Evolution, the last one remaining here in this round, is uh, going to come up from lower B. Knack going to be waiting, and he's going to shut him down. That's going to make the score 13 to 1, and uh, Mob's one round seems very, very lonely right now. Yeah, it does. It needs a partner. Well, that's hopefully what I'm going to say on about that. 15 partners. <laughs> yeah, Mumbo's just greedy. That's how Brazilians roll, you know? It's like, not greedy, just Lim 15. going to move in. Kogu going super aggressive up middle there. And Lim not expecting that whatsoever. And that's why Kogu is such an awesome AWP. And uh, we're going to stick with him just here for a second. Evolution in middle as well. But it's Bit that goes pushing up. And he's going to uh, take it. But that's going Low to be 14-1. Says uh, a mob player, obviously uh, not going to be too happy. <laughs> well, I think they can kind of almost count themselves out of the tournament at the moment. Um, yeah. You know, so uh, if they can, uh, you know, if you've got money that you want to wage on the fact they're going to come back and take this with or the one take round. 15 rounds in a row. Yeah, it's mob in 15 rounds that they've got available to them. Why I don't not? think that's going to happen. Let's watch the, uh, well, the, the MIBR push here at the start through those B tunnels. There's a lovely nade from someone from MIBR there just clipped the wall and just took HP away from all his teammates. More nades coming over here. It's going to be a rush up from B by Mob. And uh, MIBR are going to be ready for it. Lim coming in. Knights one. Shoots Knack. In comes Striker with two frags. And Perez gets one. And MIBR take the pistol round on take CT side. Take the first side. round, by the way. Yeah. Out of the 15. Out of 15. Only another 14 to go to win the match. And then... You say only, like... Like, it's hard. Yeah, but then the problem is that their, their round difference is going to be, like, one, which means they'll probably not qualify anyway. Really? Does it not count wins and rounds, or just rounds? No, it's wins against losses, so it's different. Yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wins and losses, but, yeah, okay, yeah. That's true. So they probably needed to win by a lot here. So Striker is going to shut down Bit, the last one. Oops, wrong button. Yeah, and actually, it's since Mim uh, played FNX. really close to MIBR. Yeah, exactly. Well, I should phone Mob up and tell them that they've got no chance. Because I don't want him to win, you know, 14 rounds on my behalf and then not qualify. <laughs> FNX by the uh, double doors in middle. You know, the bullets come flying through there. Yeah, knows he's probably not going to win this round. Oh. One Deagle to uh, Paladin's Whoa. head. Oh, and to Lim as well. Great stuff by FNX. He's now got two to take down. If he can do this, oh, cursed. <laughs> Perez comes flying around the corner with a FAMAS. Takes him out. May and I move the... Uh, to be, yeah, you may touch the abbot. Thank you very much, be Joseph. With it. So uh, that's going to be three rounds for, uh, for Mob. Let's see if MIBR have bought weapons. It doesn't look like it. No, it looks like a yeah. pistol in to be. And actually, uh, Paladin and Lin are going to... Or Lim, sorry. Looking like uh, they should uh, replace. And actually, here you go. Evolution opens up. So bits down in center. So all there are kind of uh, stacked up in B. But actually, the whole of the mob team are rotating A. And the whole of the MIBR team are going B. Are going B. Yeah. So someone from, uh, someone from mob just called, oh my god, they're rushing A. And then they've all run that way, and obviously they're, oh, not. Yeah. they're all in B planting in there. So uh, four on five, oh. Mob got the advantage. Paladin going to take down FNX through the double doors here as well. So this is good stuff from Mob. And uh, they should be going into this one. Three to zero. Knack in behind him. Kogu picks up a FAMAS and uh, manages to... Oh, no, it wasn't. It was just, uh, just the Glock. Finally, Kogu goes down. And Striker's going to look around for the bomb. Good round for uh, MIBR, though. Got a few kills. Bombs yeah. down. I mean... Uh, yeah, I mean, that was the third round. They're not bought again, so it was exactly what May should I be touch expected. your apparatus? Yeah. You can uh, push that over to the uh, four, four uh, rounds. And your? Four rounds, but now this is obviously the uh, the telltale... Te <laughs> 
tell tale time where, uh, so where MIBR have the money and uh, should realistically take the round. And uh, that will put them, obviously, in a great position. So uh, Kogu is obviously game. bought as he uh, covers doors centre. Not sure if he got a hit there. Let's just check the HP as I flick through. No, no hits for Kogu. And uh, we have a uh, three-man defense on A. Uh, Lim is uh, holding double door center as he's trying to just dodge across from uh, Kofu's, uh, Kogu's fire as uh, we hit past the 3 a.m. mark. And it uh, looks like uh, maybe an attack then on uh, A long. Yeah, it does indeed seem like an A long push. And uh, Kogu's going to be trying be to smite the rotations. One. I'm not going to be ready for this one, I don't think, here. As uh, Nak just baiting there and uh, watching exactly where they're going to be. They're not going to come. Uh, they're actually sat there on the uh, on catwalk, so this would be a good opportunity for them to rotate around there as uh, Nak just about to grenade down. And now Mob have moved back in there, so uh, it might be up maybe hitting a bit of a brick wall, but Nak's going to try and... Smash through that here on catwalk. Kogu picking off striker. Nax spotty one there is going to uh, throw that flashbang out and actually throws it above the wall above the evolution. Somehow still manages oh. to get the kill. Perez then Liam coming up with two there. Kogu going to be the last man for MIBR going two against one. Bomb down short. Bomb down. Perez is going to be there to watch it. Kogu's going to try and peek around. Perez is ready with the M4, and he's going to grab around another round hey, 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 for Mob. Hey, hey. That makes it 4-0 to zero this second half. And, uh, of course, it makes it 14. 2, 4, 5. What's the score? 14-5. What game are we playing? 14-5. What game is this? <laughs> What's your name? Just testing. All right, keep going. Here comes Paladin rushing up those B tunnels. No one actually there, though. I, uh, I don't know why you ignore me so so much sometimes. You make me feel invisible. It's to show my distaste without actually saying anything. Oh, that's how it Here is. comes BTT onto Lim. Oh, inside the uh, lower B tunnel. Perez going a bit crazy down there, along with Paladin. Woo. And uh, they managed to rip through. Okay, Come on. Another point. It's so day. we are now 14 6. Um, uh, it's a momentum now. I mean, it's nice to see because, I mean, we didn't kind of count them out as a top team, maybe, but they just weren't showing us what they really could do as a team. And so it's nice to see this momentum, you know, playing counter terrorists versus MIBR. So, as I say, you know, only uh, another 10 in a row sorted. Yeah. There's momentum and then there's winning 15 rounds out of 15 against MIBR on the CT side. Uh -oh. He's going to shut down Lim. Smoke, uh, well, FNX actually just basically paralyzed there, just jumped and couldn't get out of the way. Smoke's going to go down to cover that CT spawn. And uh, that's going to allow them to get in there. So uh, Mob got a little bit of work to do now as Kogu and Bit go to work no. on the bomb site. Not going to plant on the wall, set it up for a uh, uh, pit defense if needed by Kogu. Yeah. Striker. And Paladin, the last two remaining. Paladin actually uh, coming from uh, CTS, from Catwalk, should I say. Striker was down long A. He got took out. So it's now a two on one. The bomb is planted for yeah, a long. Covered by Kogu, Kogu and is BTT. there with his orb. There's no way that Paladin's going to be able to get in on this one as he jumps up on the wall. Kogu snipes him down from long range. And that puts MIBR finally <laughs> onto game point. You, I mean, you would have thought they got that a long time ago, but, you know. Quite surprising, got, actually. Yeah, but, I mean, you know. You know, I'm that, surprised. That I don't could, know if you were. That, that could actually break the momentum that M uh, Mob have actually been putting up uh, for yeah. the last five rounds and you know, basically send them down. Yeah, so uh, we can almost confirm then that MIBR and MIM will be going through from Group D. But uh, after this, we will be going over to uh, Group C. And actually, that's going to be with... Uh, uh, SK, uh, EG, 50 caliber, Revolution Sports. And actually, uh, we saw those, uh, I think it was uh, EG versus 50, 50 caliber were playing earlier on Nuke. Uh, we don't have an update on that, but you can go over to esl-world.net uh, for all the update results. And uh, later on as well, you can get the VODs. So if any of your friends have missed this and uh, want to catch up, you can head over to there. But uh, as, we, uh, as I digress maybe from the game, as uh, we go back into this match. Yeah, Mob are actually uh, moving their way back in. Again, the bomb is planted for long, and it's going to be Kogu who uh, goes through the Kogu again is uh, going to take down Lim. There's one remaining. Ah. Kogu through the box onto Evolution, and that is going to be uh, 17 rounds 
to, uh, sorry, 16 rounds. That's, that's the game now to MIBR. That is the game. But uh, I mean, Kogu just playing absolutely fantastically. You know, he's confident, sitting in really nice positions, and Mob are just kind of, you know, having to play uh, the game that MIBR are forcing him to play because, you know, they, they are in these better positions, doing, you know, good bomb plants and uh, allowing Kogu to get those shots. But anyway, so uh, attack then onto uh, B site, uh, fire exchange from both sides, and his bit that picks up two right at the end there. And so he goes out aggressively, and uh, we've already got good games being called by Mob, and it might actually be over for them as they might just uh, end up leaving the server. Yeah. Exactly what they do then. So uh, game match point for MIBR. They have secured themselves first place in Group D here at day one at the Intel Extreme Masters Global Challenge in LA. And uh, well, you know, first place does actually mean something in these group stages. Yeah, yeah it does. I mean, again, we, we need to get the confirmation as to how the playoff crossover works. Oh, um, nice. But yeah, a, a first place team is going to play a second place team. So actually with the craziness that's gone on in group B, uh, with obviously with Paragon uh, Virtues, Pov taking uh, the second place there, knocking MTW out. That will mean a slightly easier game uh, for one of the first place teams. Uh, not to take anything away from Pov, they beat MTW, so that, you know, the mm. no slouches. Uh, but technically, you'd probably think that there would be an easier game. Uh, well, if you were SK the or M, right? Yeah, I mean, if you're SK or Fnatic and, you know, the crossover is in that direction, yeah. then you're going to be happy that you met Pov, not to. Uh, take anything away from Pov. Yeah. But uh, I mean, still good upset. I'm just going to check the other server as uh, actually it was, uh, I got Mim and uh, Mugger Mouse on here. So if you wait on that one, uh, we'll get some info as uh, what will be uh, the next game played. And it will most likely be Group C, but yeah. um, day one for you so far, Joe? Absolutely fantastic. Bit of a roller coaster day, you know, with uh, MTW going out, MYM uh, and Mob playing a, a really good game there. And obviously, the uh, the MYM against MIBR game was fantastic as well. Uh, the gameplay uh, against MTW game was, that was really brilliant. good. Uh, Fnatic against XVO game was really good. So, yeah, Didn't fantastic first day. Weird. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's one of those days as well. I mean, you kind of, we've had a lot of expected uh, winners, but the games yeah. have always been close. Um, but then also, we've had an upset. So, so it's kind of had everything so far yeah. at the moment. Well, usually, so. you know, day one's the day that's really hard uh, because you get the games that not necessarily everyone wants to watch, right? Because it's, you know, a top seed against oh, a low seed and it's group stage formalities, basically. But get this rid of the riffraff, if yeah. you can call it that. This tournament's, way. you know, such a, such a high, high level, yeah, high skill level that, you know, we get, we're seeing crazy games on day one. I mean, M MYM against MIBR on day one is just amazing. So uh, from the recent performances if we've obviously not seen group any of group c yet but from the a b and d i mean uh, any particular favorites maybe to take the tournament if their performances of the day would you know transcend into tomorrow fanatic kind of worried me just a little bit against xo i, I agree i i didn't think it looked too confident maybe a little bit ropey um so not only them i'm looking forward to seeing sk actually because i've not got to see them since you know, since Zep moved over. Uh, MIBR look very, very strong. I mean, against MYM, they look superb. Um, and game well, I as think, well. yeah, yeah. Or well, MIBM, it's, it's like if you're playing poker and you can guess what your opponent's cards are, you're going to have a huge advantage on, yeah. you know, when it comes to kind of executing the kill. And I think MIBR were just completely pegging uh, Mim down there. Yeah. So it was more of that. So I think MIBR looked strong to me. I'm not going to put them as my favorites. I'd still put Mim um, later stages of the tournament to go higher. Mm. Um, um, Fnatic, once again, worried me, um, but I think, you know, I think the contenders for first place are going to be SK, um, but also gameplay. So uh, I'm kind of looking at those as the finals. Just, just uh, my predictions right now. I like predictions. It's good. Yeah. But I mean, you know, I, I'm judging by your um, lack of uh, controversy. You uh, kind of agree. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I really fancy gameplay after seeing them, seeing them earlier today. They looked fancy. <laughs> they look fancy. And, you know, people say, oh, they're not the best team to watch. And they're not. They're, they're on they're, form. They're play, their play style is actually quite boring. All right, there's your controversial bit. Ooh. But they're so solid. They're always boring. That's the point. <laughs> like, this, this, they're so consistent. They always, they always finish high. Um, and they're always winning against the good teams. And they yeah, proved they that today. You know, they absolutely destroyed Pov. And then Pov went and knocked MTW out. 
Yeah, I'm surprised about that. But we did get an interview from uh, Sunday uh, from MTW, and he just said they, they underperformed and just didn't, you know, uh, yeah, underestimated that, their performance. He said that Pov, if, if Pov, Pov played, play, anyone European else team. are going to lose. Yeah. So maybe that's the case, though. I mean, you know. Pov if, made a point now, I guess, to uh, to the people that were calling them onliners. So, e, Have you been reading the comments? No. Oh. I saw so before, you know. Oh, just think, a point there. Oh, like, of like online is blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But to, to come to LAN and, and destroy MTW is pretty nice. Uh, you, it's That's something under exactly your belt at you least. Want. So we'll see how they uh, they go through. And actually that puts them now into top eight. Uh, they hit prize money? Yeah. Uh, no, not five, sure. six is the uh, lowest no, prize. So, uh, Two and a half thousand dollars. So it's not bad. Pretty good. What are we doing casting? We could make a team. <laughs> yeah, it would be terrible. No, we not Yeah. So we have probably the best smack talk, right? I reckon, ever. Uh, it doesn't win you games though. But it helps. Yeah. <laughs> you got to it helps when you lose. It hit shots as well. Yeah, I made that one cry. Yeah. <laughs> the face sucker. Yeah. Nah, that's all right. Smack talking is a skill within itself. Actually, I think the American teams are better at smack talking. I, I think Europeans can kind of just pretend they don't understand it. Pourquoi? Yeah. You know, kind of, kind of style, but. Obviously, as well, with, um, with LAN uh, conditions, when you have American teams that sit maybe close uh, proximity to other teams that obviously speak English and then also their native language. Uh, yeah, they have come as a huge it's advantage. A yeah, I, I mean, mean, I mean, uh, you know, obviously uh, ESL have, um, you know, put, you know, they've got, you know, normally very good uh, facilities, but, you know, it, it would be nice to have everybody in that kind of like an isolated uh, you know, glass cage yeah. uh, of emotion, uh, so to speak, um, that, you know, they couldn't be heard. I mean, that's going to be the next step, obviously, because obviously you don't want to sit opposite a Swedish team as an English uh, talking you know, team and you're just calling A, B, banana. Yeah, well, gameplay have a huge advantage because Finnish is like crazy language. That no, no, not even no Finnish one... people can understand yeah. Finnish. You know, Seriously, they, they, they're mad. not understood by anyone. You know, the Swedes are kind of the same, although then the Norwegians kind of a bit of a conversation but yeah English teams American teams when they talk everyone knows what they're saying yeah so you come up with the clever ideas of calling A like <laughs> B I'm just going to throw that one out there All right, it's, it's not patented you guys can use that but just maybe, maybe one day <laughs> a team will make up its own language so that people won't be able to understand <laughs> what they're saying that would actually be impressive, but then that's like speaking Klingon, and that's pretty sad. Yeah. Pretty sad. <laughs> no, it's not, it's by the way, if you guys can speak Klingon. I'm well impressed. Personally, I would be. No. So, Group C then... We've, I wouldn't invite you out. We've gone through Group D quite a lot then with uh, MYM, MIBR against Mob, and now it's Group C. So, uh, SK, EG, 50 Cal, Revolution Sports. It's, it's surely got to be SK and EG that go through from there. Yep, that's what we're looking for. I mean, um, I haven't seen SK play yet, and we can only imagine they're going to be the ones going through from Group C. But that's yeah. going to decide, you know, Group C now is going to decide who's going through. So we can all, already tell you uh, straight now that actually from Group A, it was Fnatic and uh, X, uh, 3XO, X3O. Yeah. Um, they've got loads of names, that team. Uh, from Group B is going to be... Um, Mim, but also Pov. So that's going to be the upset of the tournament uh, so far as MTW will be going home. And actually, they're going to be going home to uh, prepare for WCG. And then uh, we're going to be seeing them, um, uh, obviously, later in the uh, ESL series. Yep. And then uh, in Group D, which is one we just uh, had played out, is going to be MIBR going through first place and also... Uh, MYM. MYM. Yeah. Very tired, by the way. Yeah. It is getting late over here. and uh, oh, We run out of actually. energy drinks. Yeah. Joe actually, by the way, woke up at four o'clock today, so you have no excuse. But then again, you did go to bed at eight. Yeah, so you have a little bit of excuse. Joe went to Joe went sightseeing in Germany, didn't you? Yeah. Last night. I saw some sights. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're just, we're just waiting for information. If you didn't already uh, already notice, yeah. The lack Large of, uh, of talking absolute rubbish. Yeah, we're pretty uh, good at that. See man. what the next game is. Uh, I know that MYM and Mugger Mouse is going to be going on sometime in the future, but to be honest, rather go over to Group C to, uh, yeah, I to look SKEG. At, I think the only one that we really need to have a look at if everything's gone to plan, if we can know or check the scores if they are updated on the website, yeah. uh, maybe you can have a look point, at that, is uh, SK versus EG, which will be deciding point. who goes through first or second. But we could have already had already have qualifiers from that group, so it's worth checking on. But anyway, you've been watching us today, and it's all going to be Counter-Strike today, and still is, but actually tomorrow is going to be 
What was that? What'd you do? What? What'd you do just then? Thumbs up. Count straight. What's tomorrow? World of Warcraft. It's amazing. Um, yeah, but also Counter-Strike as well. But we're going to be doing the group stages of uh, World of Warcraft. There's going to be two groups as uh, eight teams have uh, turned up to play. Some of the best American teams, some of the best European teams as well. And uh, so if you're a World of Warcraft fan, it will be uh, a thrill, I'm sure. Uh, and I'll be casting that as well as uh, our uh, resident vegetarian. He's asleep over there in his yeah, vegetarian he's... top. Uh, Matt, Matt Zalma Ryder, uh, ex-professional uh, uh, World of Warcraft player. So he'll be giving us all the uh, insight uh, tomorrow. So that'll be really good. And I'm looking forward to that because those group stages are going to be hugely important. And it's almost uh, no updates on the... Uh... Yeah, I'm just, oh. I am actually got okay. the scores. So uh, SK uh, already beat Revolution Sports 23 to 7. Uh, right now, 50 Cal and EG is going on, and that's 11-4 to EG, so no surprises there. Um, and MYM are beating Mug and Mouse 8-2. So, to be honest, everything is going as planned. and as <laughs> If we planned it, that is, but we, yeah, we didn't. Of course. Everything's going as expected, maybe. Um, yeah, so we'll be looking at then EG and uh, SK to qualify, but in a, you know, essence, it would be nice to see who comes through uh, first. And it'd be nice to see SK play because I'm, you know, as you say, big names, new lineup, done well, you know, recently. Interesting to see just how strong they are. But uh, maybe we can't, you know, can test the water so much with them uh, coming up against uh, EG. It'd be great to see them tomorrow in the yeah. playoffs. So actually, uh, MYM at the moment could still be knocked out if they lo if they lost to Mug and Mouse. Uh, they're actually. Oh, well, what's the what's the score differences yeah. for uh, at the moment with rounds? Well, MYM are thirty three wins, twenty seven losses. Yeah, uh, but they've only Mob played are thirty eight, forty four. So actually, yeah, they wouldn't. I don't know if it goes on. It must go on round wins rather yeah, than yeah. the difference. So. Oh, you get now. You well, yeah, yeah. You get points at the end. So yeah, not difference. Oh yeah, yeah. Wins losses. Yeah, okay, wins. sorry. Yeah. So it's round wins, uh, and then obviously group group uh, B, which is actually group C properly. I think is the SK group. Yep. Um, is SK obviously at top at the top? They won twenty three seven against Revolution Sports. EG and Fifty Cal are playing right now. So the winner of that is going to be the interesting uh, match. So the winner of EG versus Cal uh, going up against SK. But I mean that's. Pretty, yeah. you know, EG and 50 Calibre are going to be the ones, would you consider to be the, the two next strongest in the thing? In the, uh, Sorry, in the group? Mm, yeah, 50 Cal and EG probably, um, I'd say. Because this group, little, like, little I, I'm not necessarily, it's a fight for first place, because uh, I think it's SK... It's five second. It is, yeah. yeah. I mean, because you've got three potential teams there that, you know, could do it. I mean, obviously, Revolutionary Sports have lost to SK Gaming, uh, only picking up seven rounds. But we say only, but then, you know, that could still be quite good, depending on how SK roll against, you know, EG and 50 Calibre. So, you know, another American team will uh, qualify, uh, undoubtedly, from this group. But, I mean, it's going to be a scramble for second place, this one. So... Uh, we have to see how it goes through, but I can uh, check on my screen as I don't have yeah. a game going on right now. What we're Isn't going to game? do is uh, actually just jump in on the uh, on the last rounds of EG against 50, 50 Caliber. You know, Love we've got it. nothing else just now, so I'm doing why it. not? So why not? We'll get in there and we'll uh, we'll see exactly what's going on. So uh, as soon as oh. my is that 50 Caliber uh, uh, FXX uh, S. I got dog. MSD. Yeah, so I'm not actually sure um, as far as the first half score. I guess this is the second half because uh, on the news website, if I refresh, it might just tell me the first half score. Yeah, 11. So first half, EG 50 cal was 11 4. Um, MYM still beating Mug and Mouse 8 to 2. Uh, so. Whoa. How come you got a uh, server with stuff on it, and I've just got this? Yeah, so we'll, uh, we can Four. go into this one at the moment. Uh, EG are 11, 4, and 5, so EG have already won. <laughs> Yay. That was so worth there checking. You go. Yeah, so EG won the game uh, against, against 50 Cal, so obviously that's going to put them uh, up there with SK now. Uh, six, seven, eight. So we've got another seven rounds left uh, in this game. We might as well just stay in. You know, you guys might see some good shots. That you yeah, let's, let's, let's do this. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> 50 cal on the uh, on the CT side, actually losing six two here on this half at the moment. Uh, Nate's going over the top there. Now it's going to go on the outside. 
across the, uh, the rosters. Cheat, Nepo, now it's nothing, and they're hostile for 50 cal. You've got SFX, <laughs> for EG. Cynical, oh, MXD, yeah. and Keith Summer. I, I figured out just the way you were working I don't your particularly sentences. follow the American scene a lot, so I don't know a lot. I do. Particularly uh, about 50 cal. Uh, well, pretty good is uh, my analysis right now. Yeah. Obviously, Sometimes the only really player good. I really know well is, uh, is Noi, Evolution. Yeah, That's Noi's why we well, have we, that in joke there is that <laughs> EG kind of actually clean the floor um, with 50 cal. Let's see it. And he got off to uh, obviously nothing is one of the uh, the star players actually of EG, and uh, he played an absolutely fantastic tournament at, um, at, Co at the Code Five Global Finals. Uh, he was actually nominated for best. I think it was either newcomer of the year or Counter Strike player of the year in the esports awards, but didn't win. Uh, but still nominated. It was all good. Yeah. So then uh, three uh, men on the outside then for EG. As uh, they uh, aren't going to be uh, pushing, well, actually, they're going to be pushing uh, upper, well, uh, like peaking upper. And as you go there, Napo opens up. And uh, EG just seem uh, very, very dominant, even on the T side here. And uh, defending absolutely fantastically. And a knife kill comes out for uh, Hostile there. And that cleans up the round. Uh, no casualties in uh, round 10 then of uh, this uh, nuke game and uh, EG just kind of, you know, kind of verifying what we thought. You know, it's uh, it's nice to have surprises in a way, but uh, well, once again, EG, uh, we have to see how they, um, well, we can only assume that they're going to be the better team uh, versus uh, Revolution uh, Sports. Yeah, I, th I think EG are, are better than Revolution Sports, to be honest, and, you know, 50 cal will be looking to beat, to beat Revolution either way, you know. They'll uh, want to keep the pride up there. So uh, we've got five rounds to go here in this game as the, uh, the flashes go over. 50 guards going quite aggressive here. And uh, MXD pushing in. This effects grabbing one as well. Nothing and Naz both going to go down. As is Nepo and also Chi. So a uh, good start here for uh, 50 Cal. It's all up to hostile. Of course, has uh, been around the American CS scene for years, playing for teams like uh, United Five. Actually, a uh, bomb down then just outside of uh, radio room, and it's only Hostile who's going to be able to uh, pick it up. You, see, uh, you can see him dashing around in ramp, and actually uh, all his opponents are either in upper or uh, close to ramp room, and uh, Hostile deciding, uh, well, yeah. my map is uh, crazy. Dead. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, Hostile just hopping down there with his 9 HP or 6 HP, whatever it was, knowing he was going to die. So uh, basically, this game is over, and uh, these teams are just playing for that round difference. They know that. It well, it's important. The three American play. teams yeah. all challenging for a second. It's going to be important for the round difference. So, uh, you know, 50 caliber shouldn't, you know, mess around whatsoever and uh, give it their all. Yeah. So uh, coming up after this game, we will have EG versus SK, which is the game of the group, in my opinion. Um, so that's what you want to stick around for. We can. Uh, we can leave this going here on uh, with EG and 50 Cal until this one comes over and then uh, SK will join the server. And uh, not sure what time it is in America, actually, Joe, because uh, they tend to be... Uh, it's 10 hours behind us, so I reckon it's around, you know, 4.30 p.m. Oh, really? So then maybe uh, a little bit ahead of schedule then uh, over there in uh, America. So uh, we'll see if uh, EG, how long of a break they need before uh, SK come in on the server and set up. But, uh, you know, trying to collect these rounds still is 50 caliber and uh, do so successfully as uh, they pull the second half four to eight, which makes the final score four to eight plus the first half score. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 19-8. Some guy <laughs> in my ear. He's like all smart and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> 19 to eight. We could have just said 19 to eight. Thank yeah. you, guy in my ear, by the way. It's very helpful. <laughs> Cine Cynical gonna take down Hotmail oh. there on the inside. Bomb gonna be planted <laughs> by Naz. And uh, EG just gonna back away. And uh, still four remaining here, 450 cal. <laughs> what? Keith, someone, someone look it. Keeps. I look, oh, you forgot. I, oh, whatever, I can't even read. Uh, 
So oh, he again, needs that. Nepo there up on the uh, on the uh, rafters, looking down. Got two, and then she comes around the corner with the uh, with the deagle. I'm gonna pull the kill out there. So uh, just the uh, the last few rounds going on now. Just a couple more to go, and then we will get SK in the server, and they will play against EG. Which should be a good game, to be honest. Yeah, and EG are going to have, um, both of them are actually going to have a nice warm up. I mean, SK obviously uh, rolling uh, Revolution Sports 23 to 7, and uh, that's only to be expected, but it's still a good warm up, uh, if anything. So it'll uh, be interesting to see how they uh, play versus a slightly harder team, which will, of course, be EG, but then EG as well having a, a, a good warm up and more of a challenging game versus a 50 caliber as uh, the score, you know. Still in their favour, 9-4 to four here, soon to make it 10 as uh, last man standing for 50 calibre. Going up against four is uh, Kef Sama, then they assume that's uh, to be pronounced. And uh, well, I just didn't even want to talk that. He's dead. This dude's dead. Look at him, he's dead. Poke him. I poked him. He was dead. Nothing picking up the last frag there. And just the <laughs> one round to go. And, uh, we definitely need more energy drinks. No, we don't, do something. Brimming. This is the best cast we've done ever. So, EG now uh, moving their way. Come on, on dude, get inside. really excited. Last round. <laughs> Come on. It's the last round. Gonna go with a, uh, a split there through the uh, into the ramp room. Oh now my god. Two there onto MXD. And cynical keep Sam are gonna come back with one nothing's grenade. Shuts down SFX and 50 cal trying to make their way in behind actually now. <laughs> Good game, says MXD. But it's not really game, over yet. Demo. Because there's still two dudes to kill. And Team EG with four then. Gonna follow Kef. He gets killed by Nepo. Amazing shot. Best of the tournament so far. And uh, Naz on free HP. Uh, shooting the wall. Lost his mind right now. As you know, he's spamming. Oh, everyone's taking damage. Yeah, she, she's got the <laughs> auto sniper there for the, uh, for no. the last round of the game. Good game. So uh, that's going to be it. EG take the victory over 50 cal and uh, basically set us up for the uh, the game against SK. Um, so the deal is, uh, whoever wins is going to go through top of the group most likely. Yeah. Well, I mean. <laughs> Well, well, yeah, top of the group, we say that at the moment, but I mean, you know, the only ones that can cause an upset is um, do, 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 the team that just lost to SK. Them. Revolution. Yeah. They beat both the American teams. Uh, yeah, that, that is, that's also possible, I guess, but still, SK, <laughs> SK would have two optimistic wins. on SK my would ideas. Have two wins as well, so probably not going to happen. So, yeah, the SK versus EG is coming up next. That's going to be uh, a good one. Most people going to get to see Zet for the first time if you missed out on the uh, WCG Swedish qualifiers, which is always an exciting thing anyway, since yeah. Zet has been away for such a long time. I'm excited. So uh, we're going to be playing Train, apparently, uh, which, again, should prove to uh, be absolutely fantastic. I mean, I don't know what position I don't know much Zet's about EG on right. Train. I always uh, thought SK kind of struggled with it a little bit. Um, SK aren't a bad train team. I mean, it's not the strongest map. We've seen um, some games where they've played really well and some games where they've just been pretty awful on it. So I, I actually think that S SK are going to win this one. They've got a fresh lineup. I guess that brings, you know, the, the usual fresh motivation with it and, and things like that. Yeah, so change your name for every tournament. They're really looking win. to win. And I actually saw uh, an interview, I think I think it was with Robin, and he said, you know, we're, we're feeling at a level now where we can win. I think that team's really, really strong. And actually, one of the players I've always followed because he, uh, where I know him personally is a tempo, and he seems to just go from strength to strength. Yeah. And then a lot of people talk about, you know, Wally and Robin, but I mean, uh, tempo for me is always kind of that solid, really solid player. So I'm always uh, enjoy watching him play as he seems to be like a very core player uh, of the team. So, you know, any predictions? Uh, you know, you call it early. No, I, 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 I mean, think, leaving. I think SK are going to win. Uh, you know, so if we said otherwise to build suspense, we'd just be lying to you. We're not liars. It's not a face of a liar. Yeah, we have to, it's a face uh, of many things, but not a liar. Ah, oh, we are getting a... Uh, it's actually restart. changing to train. Hopefully. Maybe we should uh, take a quick break before we, uh, before we go into SK versus EG. No. It's going to be a good game. We've got player yeah. sheets. We've got yeah. player sheets. We've got player sheets. I'm looking forward to play. We did such a good job last time. They've created more player sheets for us. We have so. player sheets. So actually, uh, if we can go to those player sheets. Uh, would you like to do this or would I like to do this? You, you can do it. Okay.
So uh, soon to go then over to the player sheets as uh, Matt's head is in the way of the screen. Damn vegetarian.